Hello traders, this is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. I hope you had a terrific weekend. This is one of the two off days that I take during the week. I take Monday and Sundays off and I trade Tuesday through Friday. However, I noticed something in the chart today that I wanted to bring your attention to. This morning we had a window, something that we rarely see in the forex chart and i wanted to tell you how it is that you trade a window a window acts either as support or resistance in this case it's going to act as resistance against price moving back up this morning my time eight o'clock we got a reversal hammer and price continued to move up but notice how price respects that window and it gets there and just kind of hugs that window until and you can see until late in the day it just kind of stays in that window without actually closing it okay we had something very similar in the euro usd this morning 15 minute time frame we also had a window there this was particularly tricky to trade this morning because we had the window here we had a reversal candle with a dark cloud cover we were right at the trend line though but at that time we didn't have the trend line here so this was particularly tricky to trade because this window was acting as resistance and it looked like a perfect shorting opportunity you were right at resistance you got a reversal candlestick pattern dark cloud cover a strong confirmation however your very next candle was a strong bullish candle now anytime you have a window closed like you did in this situation then now this same window is acting as a support level so when you got this little bearish candle here it didn't mean anything because now you've closed above this resistance and price continued on in a bullish fashion for the rest of the day something else i wanted to do with both this chart and the euro jpy i wanted to add volume because a lot of traders trade with volume and this is why i don't i'm certainly not saying anything against it but what i want to say about volume is that it's not always an accurate prediction of where price may go there is nothing absolute in forex so please keep that in mind now you'll note that I added volume to this chart and you'll see here this is the bottom of this candle you have a good strong volume at this reversal candlestick pattern and this is the euro USD now we're going to add volume to our euro JPY notice the volume on the reversal candle here you have very tiny volume comparatively speaking now i don't know if you've seen my video on killer candles but notice the strength the bearish strength in this candle and notice the strength in your volume a lot of times at the end of a bearish trend if you all of a sudden have a big bearish candle with strong volume then you need to look out also if you are in an uptrend and you have a really strong bullish candle with a lot of volume then that's something else you want to look out for this is the last thing i want to show you this is the euro jpy on a daily time frame i know some traders got tricked on um this particular setup this is my daily chart and you'll note that we were on an uptrend you'll see all of this small price action you got a valid reversal and you got a miniature uptrend or what i call a bounce in the market now you got this bearish engulfing pattern the reason this was a bearish engulfing pattern and it is legitimate is because it's coming at the top of an uptrend now your next candle appeared to be 
a piercing pattern. The reason this would not qualify as a piercing pattern is because it is not at the bottom of a downtrend. The next day you got a reversal candle and price continued to fall down. Now, this was that Friday's candle. What you'll note is once you hit this previous resistance and this resistance was from February the 22nd, you got a lot of rejection on that candle followed by this bearish engulfing pattern. And so I was looking for um, a shorting opportunity anyway and I'll show you why. This is my Euro JPY on a monthly time frame and you can see that I had these two previous bearish candles. So I was looking for an opportunity to go in harmony with that kind of sort of bearish trend. Now again you had a very similar thing happen in the Euro USD on the daily time frame. You had this bearish engulfing pattern at the top of this uptrend. You got what appeared again to be a piercing pattern. However, it cannot qualify as a piercing pattern because it does not come at the bottom of a downtrend. You got a reversal the next day for a beautiful shorting opportunity. Guys, this is not rocket science. You can absolutely do this. Your charts will tell you almost everything you need to know in order to be successful in the market but you must take time and invest in your education guys you can do this you can be successful in the forex market have a terrific trading week